Josh Barry, author of The Yearbook, suffers from athetoid cerebral palsy. But this doesn't stop him chasing around all over the place after celebrities to interview. He interviews them for his entertainment platform and podcast, which he calls Beyond the Title. So here's his account of his time with Alan Simpson and Ray Galton, or Galton and Simpson, the famous comedy writing duo, both of them OBEs. Legendary sitcom writers Ray Galton and Alan Simpson originally met in a sanatorium while recovering from TB and thus begun a union which lasted over 60 years. In 1953, the pair joined friends Spike Milligan and Eric Sykes in the formation of Associated London Scripts, Britain's first scriptwriting agency. Such a creative hotbed of talent spurred a formidable output of work and it wasn't long before performers wanted to join this centre of talent. Mixed with the likes of Tony Hancock, Frankie Howard and Peter Sellers, Ray and Alan were at the forefront of British comedy and it wasn't long before radio came calling. Just a year later, Galton and Simpson found themselves with a hit BBC radio comedy on their hands in the form of the bittersweet Hancock's Half Hour. In 1956, Hancock's Half Hour made a successful move from radio to the relatively unknown medium of television and helped the British audience fall in love with the art of situation comedy. The controversial decision for Galton and Simpson and Hancock to part company in 1961 was something which ultimately cost Tony Hancock his career, as he failed to find anyone who knew the character of Anthony Aloysius Hancock better than the two people who created him. Yet, the duo were already at work on another sitcom as part of a new BBC comedy playhouse, their own BBC comedy series in which they penned six self-contained episodes starring some of the cream of British comedy. Comedy Playhouse went on to be a playground for both new and experienced writers to create pilots of potential series. One episode, entitled The Offer, surrounded the bittersweet relationship between father and son rag and bone men, Albert and Harold Steptoe. The episode struck a chord with the public, and a series was promptly commissioned. Steptoe and Son would survive in its many guises until 1974, despite the notoriously thwarted real-life relationship between actors Wilfred Bramble and Harry H. Corbett, and the genius of the writing elevated Ray Galton and Alan Simpson into comedy superstars. Following the style of Comedy Playhouse, Ray and Alan were twice given their own single half-hour series. In 1969 by London Weekend Television, the Galton and Simpson Comedy, and in 1977 by Yorkshire Television, the Galton and Simpson Playhouse always attracting a stellar line-up of cast members. In the mid-90s, the pair teamed up with Paul Merton for two series, which included some Hancock scripts, thus paying tribute to the man with whom they started their glittering career. In 2010, I had the absolute honour to interview Ray Galton and Alan Simpson about their unparalleled career in comedy and their dealings with various members of BBC management, The interview was part of research for a biographical drama script I was creating based on the life and work of Sir Bill Cotton. Yet, being in the presence of two of the icons of British entertainment, it would have been a crime not to have touched upon their own glittering career. Over half an hour, the pair waxed lyrical about their life, career and professional partnership, which I feel extremely fortunate to have witnessed. The stars they worked with, TV senior management, who they worked under, They seem to have a phenomenal photographic memory for everything. Stories about the early days of Steptoe and Son were fascinating to hear. I was in my element speaking to these two heroes of British comedy, and hearing them bouncing off each other was really very special. The Bill Cotton theme suddenly became irrelevant, because the opportunity to interview two of the greats of British comedy firmly overtook my ongoing research. Sadly, due to ill health, From this point, Galton and Simpson decided to shy away from the spotlight, with the exception of May 2016, when they emotionally accepted the BAFTA Fellowship via a pre-recorded acceptance speech. Tragically, this was the last public appearance for Alan before his sad death in February 2017, followed by the passing of Ray just 18 months later. I remain extremely grateful to have had a unique insight into the world of British comedy from this legendary writing partnership and for it to have been my first ever interview. I feel so blessed. 
Blessed indeed.